post-construction, this has been a real punch in the guts for our community. We've already put up with several years of disruption and we were all very hopeful that once this interchange opened that we would be able to move on with our lives and that we could potentially get some benefits out of the opening of this interchange, despite the fact that there was a great deal of community sentiment that this was not the right way to do traffic planning and this project would never result in positive outcomes, particularly for those surrounding the interchange. Um, we've, we've been dealing with traffic chaos similarly to what uh, the member for Dremoyne has been talking about with rat running, with uh, lots of local congestion. I do want to note, um, and particularly I know that you've been on the bus journey this morning and it has been unusually quiet today. I do want to note that um, there have been some improvements made. I've been meeting regularly with Transport for New South Wales bureaucrats for several months since the interchange opened in November to try and get some resolution to these issues and they have managed to make some improvements, although the impact of these improvements that have been um, somewhat positive around Balmain have then had a flow-on effect to other areas like Tremoyne mm -hmm. and like Annandale where we've seen the City Westlink be um, extended slightly and that has in turn pushed congestion issues back into Annandale and Johnson Street which is an area that you wouldn't have been able to see this morning. Um, so I do want to note that the Transport for New South Wales bureaucrats have worked hard to try and maximise the flow through this interchange but what uh, we haven't seen being addressed is more, um, more fundamental problems with the original design. I don't think it would take any traffic expert to know for anyone that had travelled through Roselle onto the Anzac Bridge prior to this opening, that funnelling four lanes of traffic from Victoria Road into one, one lane bottleneck was ever going to be a situation that was going to cause anything other than complete chaos for the people that are travelling that way into the city. So it's been hugely problematic. Um, I just want to quickly acknowledge too, obviously you've all read my submission, but I want to, want to acknowledge as well that it's not just the um, car that have been private vehicles that have been impacted by this congestion. The impacts have flowed onto the buses coming out of Balmain, which is our primary mode of transport where we don't have a train line. So buses coming from Leichhardt, Lilyfield, Roselle and Balmain have been impacted and caught up in this congestion, meaning that alternative options have been really challenging for the community to take up. Uh, we've seen buses that have been caught in congestion for anywhere from 20 to 40 additional minutes still in recent months. Um, and there's been a very big pedestrian amenity impact where we've lost lost overpasses for pedestrians, we've lost pedestrian safety amenity and as a result we see still currently when I went to visit the traffic management centre myself a couple of weeks ago, people taking really risky behaviour to run across the intersection of Robert Street where the diversion is 700 metres for them to cross safely at an intersection or an underpass that would be appropriate. So while we're talking a lot about traffic congestion, I want to note that the impact has been much more broad for my community. Um, obviously too we'll be talking about asbestos, um, that was another really dire situation when the one positive that we were looking at getting out of this interchange was some more public open green space which was very welcome and for that to have been um, interrupted within weeks of the opening of the parklands to the extent that we've only just regained some of our sporting uh, fields and some of our pedestrian access to the parklands and much of the parkland remains closed has been incredibly disappointing. Um, nothing is off the table is what the Minister for Roads told us for many months as the interchange had opened but um, it has been incredibly frustrating for the community to see that beyond the shuffling around and uh, things that the Transport Management Centre has been able to do to maximise the flow, there hasn't been a great deal of uptake in my mind and in the <coughs> mind of my community about other, um, other things, structural things that could be changed and looking at things like the prioritisation of the toll traffic over the local roads. So uh, very happy to be here and provide evidence to you today and thanks very much for having me. Mm.